I'm Maddie Lee, joined by Joe Masato at Chesapeake Energy Arena after the Thunder's 113-92 win over the Houston Rockets. Huge night for a number of reasons, but the biggest was it was Russell Westbrook's first game at Chesapeake Energy Arena as an opponent. Yeah, I mean, and it started from well before the game, kind of Westbrook honoring Oklahoma in a way, and then the Thunder honoring Westbrook. I mean, he came into the game wearing a thank you Oklahoma shirt from his clothing line, and, and then I thought the Thunder handled his tribute video very well in those pregame introductions. It was fantastic. It went through everything from game highlights to interview highlights. It had his you know, very famous what <laughs> moment in a post-game interview. It had clips of him singing. It was fantastic. The crowd went wild. You could barely hear. It had, it sounded like it was audio of him, but you could barely hear it because the crowd was cheering so loud. Uh, and then he gets actually introduced and everyone's going wild and it continues into the introductions of the other players. And then they start chanting MVP. Uh, it was a fantastic moment and really well deserved from a guy who gave a lot to this city and this organization for over a decade. Yeah, and Westbrook himself, he handled it very well too. I mean, he he was up to the same antics, just in a different uniform. He gave people on the scores table fist bumps. He, he did his sprint out to a corner of the court and pumped up the crowd. Um, he interacted with fans throughout timeouts. Almost every timeout, he was, you know, making eye contact with different people. Um, and on the court, he was he was his old self too. I mean, 34 points, 14 of 26. Um, he was very efficient tonight. And the Rockets needed him to be because James Harden did basically nothing. If there's a night when James Harden has done nothing on the court offensively, it was tonight. He started the game one of 11 um, and finished well below his, aver his season average, which is leading the league. And so the Rockets really needed uh, Westbrook to step up and he did, but the Thunder was so solid that it didn't matter. Yeah, I mean, Terrence Ferguson was the Thunder's MVP tonight. I mean, he he hounded, he got in a, a little bit of foul trouble to start the game, but then he really played good defense against James Harden. Harden finished 5 of 17, 2 of 9 from 3, 17 points. Um, he came into the game averaging 38.5 points per game. That's more than 8 points per game um, from the second leading guy in the league. So he's just an exceptional scorer, and, and to hold him to 17 is might be one of his lows of the season. Yeah, and after he had scored 40 the first time that the Thunder played the Rockets, so a much different game than the first time when it was very closely fought, but the Rockets came out uh, in Houston. Now the Thunder just absolutely trounced the Rockets. Uh, Russell Westbrook was pulled out with seven over seven minutes left in the game because it had already been decided. Yeah, and James Harden did not even play in the fourth quarter, and the reserves came in, and it was it was a ce celebration on two fronts here at Chesapeake Energy Arena. You had the celebrating Westbrook's return and also a, a dominant win against one of the best teams in the West. Now, Danilo Gallinari paced the Thunder, was absolutely fantastic on the offensive end, and yeah, the defense did the rest. Yeah, I really, really bounced scoring tonight for the Thunder. Gallinari, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Chris Paul. It was really, you know, I thought the Thunder showed its depth when the when the, the I was about to say the Westbrook when the Rockets <laughs> they only had Westbrook tonight. They they only played eight guys through the first three quarters, and and the Thunder looked like the better team tonight. Yeah. So enjoy post game video from Russell Westbrook. And also Chris Paul, Terrence Ferguson, and Dennis Schroeder.